Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to Live to Fish and do not adjust your screen. It is not winter time, it is not snowing, it is the mayfly, or otherwise known as the fish fly hatch. And it's in full bloom here on Lake St. Clair, and here I am out at Anchor Bay. More specifically, fishing from the shoreline here at Brandenburg Park in Chesterfield Township, Michigan. This time of year can be challenging and sometimes downright frustrating for anglers trying to get a bite. But I'm going to show you how to get past all that and show you what techniques can work even with the hatch going on. And that's coming up right here, only here, on Live to Fish. You can see all these uh, fish flies hatching, but it's pretty crazy out here. They are everywhere. Beautiful sunrise though. Man, there are tons of them. Now the first thing with the mayfly hatch is a lot of anglers find out that their finesse techniques like the Ned Rig or even throwing some Texas Rig creature baits just doesn't seem to work anymore. And there's a reason for that. The fish are going to be feeding up a little bit higher in the water column and even top water. But top water is something I'm not going to hit on right now. I'll get to that in a later video. But definitely suspended baits. I do want to key in on some suspended techniques that will definitely get you bit. If you've been paying attention to the professional tournament going on around here on Lake St. Clair, you've been seeing a lot of drop shotting and there's a reason for that. They're targeting those fish a little bit higher in the water column during the fish fly hatch. But for those of you struggling to let go of those finesse techniques, I'm going to tell you it's not a total loss. Just fish them differently. For example, on the Ned Rig here, I'm jigging it, not at the bottom, I'm jigging it along the middle of the water column all along the pier. So in other words, I'm not dragging it on the bottom, I'm not popping it up too close to the surface, I'm simply jigging it up and down just as if I was fishing the drop shot. That's a good fish. Oh, yes. That's a good bass there. Woo wee. Good bite. Hold on, buddy. All right. Sweet. On the Ned Rig. And skin hooked. Boy, barely hooked on him, too. I was lucky to get him, uh, get him hoisted up. Not eating nothing. Beauty though. Good sized largemouth. All right, let's get him back in the water. I swear this is the same fish. Maybe not. Get him hoist. All right, definitely an upgrade from the last one. Not bad at all. The Ned bite is hot. That was a second cast with the Ned rig in a row. And results on both. Oh, he just shook that off too. Lucky to get him in. Not bad. All right, let's weigh this beauty real quick and get him back in. But don't take my word for it. Here's Brett from Fish the Mitt, fishing that drop shot. Very effective. Can you hoist uh, me? We don't have a net, do we? No, unfortunately. Um, what pound test you got on there? Ah, uh, oh, it's like a. What are those drop shots from, from Cabela's? He's a nice one too. Darn it. Yeah, see if you can just kind of hoist it up. Just show those kids. I'm gonna just bring them. I'm gonna should I hoist them up? Yeah, just try to hoist them up there. I'll try to grab them. Oh, you got it. Good deal. Show those nice job, Brett. Sweet. That is a beauty. Hey, boys. <laughs> When you're targeting these fish, what else comes to mind in the middle of the column? That's right, spinnerbait. Here's Dave getting on them with his favorite spinnerbait. There you go. Didn't expect that. Oh, those, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Uh, no, that's actually drop, oh, drop shot this time. So you, that's how you know them, huh? Yep. Sweet. All right, so throwing the drop shot on the new PC fun. And look at that. Not bad. Keep in mind, everything's going to be feeding in the middle of that column. Oh no, toothy critter. It's alright. He ain't gonna he ain't gonna he ain't gonna bite me off. Well, that's a good thing. Want my players? Yeah. Nope. 
broke off again. Can't be very big. Yeah, he took drag. I don't have it set very high though. First sunny of the year, because I don't fish for panfish. And uh, that is beautiful. On the drop shot. I don't know what it is with fish and defecation on me, but uh, not liking it, that's for sure. All right. Let's get Mr. Poopy Pants back in the water. Beautiful sunfish. I have not had one in forever. God, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. All right. Ready, buddy? Don't forget to wipe. See ya. So don't be afraid to change it up from moving baits to something a little bit more finessey, but keep it in the middle of the column. Again, here's a rock bass I caught on a spinnerbait of all things. They're definitely going to be feeding off those mayflies. And here I am going back to the drop shot and getting more bass in that uh, middle column. Again, if these tips help you, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, make sure you smash that like, and leave me a comment down below. So until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, live to fish. Take care, everybody.